I'm going to call for Supreme Court reform because this is critical to our democracy. It's a promise President Joe Biden made when he announced he was no longer running for a second term. And Monday, he unveiled the three major changes he wants to see at the nation's highest court. 18-year term limits for the court's nine justices, a binding code of conduct, and a constitutional amendment that guarantees no president is immune from criminal prosecution, a direct rebuke of the court's recent ruling regarding former President Donald Trump. Nothing about the Supreme Court reforms could be immediately implemented, but it certainly shows the position of the Democrat Party. They don't like the outcome of the court's ruling, so they want to change the rules here. Biden's call for reform comes as the Supreme Court's approval rating is at a record low. A recent Fox News poll finds 60 percent of voters disapprove of the court's performance and think it's too conservative. In his Washington Post op-ed, Biden writes, what is happening now is not normal, and it undermines the public's confidence in the court's decisions, including those impacting personal freedoms. But Biden needs Congress's approval for any changes to take effect, which he's unlikely to get. What this president, Joe Biden, is trying to do, in essence, is the the Supreme Court. Vice President Kamala Harris has voiced her support for her boss's Supreme Court reform, and it's likely she makes it a key part of her presidential campaign. In Washington, Rebecca Castor, Fox News.